There's nothing else like being on a bike. There's just, there's nothing else like it. Despite what you see, Chris Simons is a blessed man. Not only am I here, but I walk around and I run a business with my family. After finishing a tour in Iraq, Simons got out of the Army and at 23 jumped head first into the garage door repair business. Everyone expects it to be that I got blown up in Iraq story and that didn't happen that way. No, it was a crash on this motorcycle in 2005. The fastest I ever had that bike, 151. That nearly ended his life. I did die. I died on impact. He was already um, gray. He was going gray, so all the blood was gone from the surface of his skin. I mean, he looked, well, he was dead. This picture was taken the night before the crash. It shows Simons partying with buddies. Badly hung over, he was up early the next morning on a bike ride with his father and brother. Without a doubt, uh, my reaction time was different than what it usually is. You know, and I always question my judgment on that morning as to, you know, should have I just said no. Leading the pack, Simons passed a slow-moving minivan. In what remains a mystery today, he stayed in the wrong lane. As the truck got real close, I realized that he doesn't see the truck. And I, I got this, this whole feeling inside that, oh, and then boom, the impact. When my arm was ripped off in the wreck, it ripped this and all that. You see the scar right here, it ripped everything out. I thought he was dead. And then when he came back, you know, I, I just kept urging him. I said, you know, son, don't die on me. And they got a uh, life flight helicopter there to bring me to Memorial Hormon so Dr. Red Duke could save my life. But his so leg could not be saved. But this is my every day now, and so this is my normal. Simons credits his mother for saving his life, tending to his every need for the first grueling six months after the crash. My mom is the best person I've ever met in my life. There is plenty of happiness. Since the crash, he got married and has two daughters. Thankfully, I didn't have a lot of brain damage or, or head damage or anything like that. I'm still a good looking guy, so. <laughs> He's able to arrange all the scheduling and meet face to face with customers, but there are a lot of things he just can't do. I have my moments of sadness. 16 years later, I still am sad sometimes. I can't give my kids big full bear hug. Unfortunately, what's left of Simon's body is wearing out. Eventually, he knows he might not be able to walk again. I definitely suffer the consequences of my actions every day. And he wants other riders to learn from his mistakes. You know, the, the really only thing you can say to someone when I try to say, hey, you know, be careful, is be careful. I'm, I, I'm a living example of what can really happen to you, and this is something you have to live with every day.